Oh no! No! Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, so my icon box came in the mail today y'all and I am so freaking excited. I got so much good stuff in here. I was debating whether or not I was just gonna stick to just the regular boxy charm or do the upgrade, but I mean, as you can see, I upgraded. When I saw the different brands that they were gonna have in the icon box, I was like, I need to just go on ahead and upgrade because I know for a fact I was going to have massive fun FOMO if I did not upgrade. This box is heavy. It has so much stuff in it. This is what my icon box looks like, full of stuff. So it comes with this cool little, <laughs> it looks like a little newspaper. And it's got your girl Gwen Stefani on it, okay? She's looking all pretty. Gwen Stefani is the one who curated the icon box, as y'all know. I'm not gonna lie, Holla Bad Girl was my jam. So was Luxurious. I love that song. I loved her whole Harajuku girl era. I had the album. I haven't looked through a newspaper in so long. I feel like an old person. I might just keep this for like memorabilia. You know what I'm saying? Like just something to have. Like, oh, remember that time? I had an icon box curated by the Gwen Stefani. The first thing I'm pulling out of here is by Sonage and is the Saffron Energizing Vitamin Mask. Or if you're, you know, over the water or is it across the pond? If you're across the pond, Vitamin. Vitamin Mask. It says it's French. Ooh, okay, French. Botanical ingredients, American made, be wait, what? Okay, so it's French origin, but it's American made. Cruelty free spa grade. Ooh, I like a good spa grade. It says apply for one to three, no, that's not what it says. It says apply one to three times a week on clean skin, leave for 10 minutes, rinse and follow with a moisturizer. What is this supposed to do besides, ener like what does energizing the skin mean? I know what energizing yourself means, but what is energizing your skin? me. So it's just like a little mask. Ooh, it's the same on both sides. <laughs> Wait, no, it's not. This side says hydrates and firm skin. Oh, the other side's in French. <laughs> so this is what the French side looks like and the American side. I love a good face mask and I am running out of my little, little tiny little face mask I've been getting from my mystery Ipsy boxes. So I'm glad to have her. The next thing in here is by Alicia Keys. Keys Soul Care Deeply Replenishing Squalene Facial Oil. And this box feels good. It has like that matte feeling. You, you know what I mean? Like, know what I mean? And then this is a little bit raised and bossed, glossy. I like this. This is just like a facial oil. It's dermatologist developed, clean formula, vegan, cruelty free, which isn't that the same thing? Like if it's vegan, it has to be cruelty free. Like why put both? This is redundant. Fragrance free, which I really like. And it says it replenishes, firms, and plumps. Ooh, and it's nice and taped. So I know ain't nobody been in my stuff. Ooh, it came in like a box within a box. That's how you know you fancy. And your box got a box. This is a really, really nice packaging. It's nice and solid glass. This is what it looks like. It's just like a little facial oil. Let's see if it has a smell. Oh wait, it said fragrance free. How quickly I forgot. This is really, really pretty. Definitely something to keep on your vanity. I'm excited to use this. However, I already have a facial oil that I'm using and it's already gonna take me forever to get through that facial oil. So this is gonna have to wait, but it will look cute. Like I said, let me just put it right here. Wait, not in front of Louis Vuitton. Let me put it up here you on know, top of the Louis Vuitton. Okay. It's gonna look cute right there for now. The next item that I'm pulling out of here is by KVD Full Leaves long defined tubing mascara. Mascara tube long definition. I'm sorry for those who have probably offended with that fake accent. This is what the box looks like. That's actually really pretty. It's giving like Ed Hardy vibes. <laughs> and it's a mascara. Ooh, this is big. Y'all see how big this is? This thing is huge. And I love the like design on the outside. I think that is so pretty. This is what the wand looks like. I think this is nice. I'm very excited to get give this a try today. Next is by Give Beauty, which is Gwen Stefani's makeup brand. And it is a lipstick in the color Tragic Me. That's pretty. Ooh, that's cute. I like little details like that. The lipstick itself comes looking like this. Love to see her, very pretty. Ooh. I'm such a child. This is what it looks like. That is super freaking pretty. And 
wait, is this broken? Is it supposed to be like that? Is it supposed to be like that where you can like, I guess maybe refill it? I hope mine isn't broken. If so, we got problems. But this is a very, very pretty color. You get a decent amount. I mean like typical lipstick amount. It feels really good. That is pretty. I think that'll look really nice. I did add on this little, or is it ergonomic brush? Cause I'm not gonna lie, the hair underneath this wig is very thick and difficult to comb. I'm trying to comb with the comb and I feel like I'm breaking my wrist. I thought that this would be really nice to try out. Hopefully my hair doesn't snap these off because these seem a little bit flimsy. I don't know if this was made for black people hair. I actually don't think it was because th these are very like very flimsy. I think my hair is gonna tear this thing up, but I will try it. And this is by Karma Beauty. I wish they had it in pink for me. I don't know how this is going to stand up against my black hair. It might be bald. I'm not gonna be bald. This might be bald by the time I'm done brushing my hair. And the next thing is by Ren Clean Skincare. I actually really like the Ren Pot products. I actually really like the Ren products that I've tried. So I'm very excited to try this. This is the Glycol Lactic Radiance Renewal Mask with AHA, which is really good because I just ran out of my Balance Me mask, which is an AHA mask as well. Ooh, like I said, I love details. <laughs> okay, that is so pretty. This looks just like the other packaging that I have for my other mask. So hopefully I don't, you know, well, I won't mix them up. And this is just like I said, a little AHA mask. And this one says, a lot of stuff in different languages. Okay. Apply a generous, <laughs> apply a generous amount onto clean skin over the face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Of course, avoid the eyes. Leave for 10 minutes, dampen a cloth and gently wipe off the mask. Rinse skin with warm water. Slight tingle may be experienced during application. I'm used to a tingle because I take, not take, I use vitamin C or vitamin C masks and moisturizers. So I'm used to like things tingling. It doesn't really bother me too much. As you can see, your girl's been having some skin issues, okay? I've been having some breakouts. I got a big old visitor right there and big old visitor right there. I look forward to using this to help get rid of these visitors, you know, get them out my house. Next thing in here, here is actually my other add-on. This is by Lunar Beauty and it is a setting powder. That is so pretty. Like I said before, I love when you have the matte and then you put something glossy right on top of it. I think that is so pretty. Right now I've been using the Laura Mercier, but I've been shopping around for a different one because it's a little expensive. And I thought, why not try this one on a discount and see if I like it just as much as I like my Laura Mercier. The reviews seem to be really good. Ooh, look at that packaging. I'm gonna need y'all to get into it. I'm a texture girl. This feels so good. <laughs> like it just, ooh, okay. I'm really into her. She comes with one of these and I actually don't have one of these. So you can use it to kind of press your powder in. I think that is so nice. It comes with a little lid and it's super easy to actually lift up and well, yeah, super easy to lift up. So happy to get this little powder puff. That is nice and it feels really soft. Like it is a very nice, soft, velvety material and you can just store it right in there. The next thing in here is by First Aid Beauty and it is oil minimizing toner with salicylic acid. I don't currently own a toner, so I'm very happy to have another, well, not another, another implies I have one already. I'm happy to finally have a toner that I can try. When do you put this on? Okay, after cleansing skin, apply with a cotton pad and swipe over face. I always forget the steps. I mean, there's just so many steps. I will definitely be giving this a try, especially next time I do my doing too much night routine. I will definitely be giving this a try. The next item in here is by Charlotte Tilbury. Okay, that fancy stuff, that fancy schmancy foundation. <laughs> Hopefully it's my color because how would Ipsy know my exact color? <laughs> They gave you like five or six options to choose from. And that's not very inclusive. <laughs> this is what this looks like. I love this like gold metallic-y part right here. And they gave me eight neutral. This is Charlotte Turbury, Turbury. And it says science and color. Skin looks more radiant by up to 285%. How do they quantify that? It says it is long lasting and has pollution defense of Sure. <laughs> Let's see what the Charlotte Tilbury looks like. This is what she looks like of, it might not be my color, which is so sad. Let's see, maybe it looks different outside of the packaging. So let's see. I am gonna do a try on and I was hoping to try on this foundation. All right, so that's one dot. Ooh, okay, ooh. No, no, honey, no. Oh no. 
oh no, I don't think that's my color at all. Maybe it'll look okay after I put the other stuff on. I don't know, it looks a little too tan for me. I'm gonna just get my Meredith on and rub it in with my hands. I'm gonna go and get a blending brush and try to blend this out and see, cause I look orange. I look like I went tanning and I'm black. I don't tan. I mean, I tan when I go in the sun. I'm talking about like going to a tanning bed. I don't do that. I will go get a wet powder puff and not powder puff, beauty sponge. And I'm gonna see what, see if I can fix this. Cause this looks a hot mess. This looks crazy. Maybe this will be my summer shade. It feels really good on the skin. Like I feel like I have nothing on and I've actually put on more makeup than I usually put on. It's a good foundation. I'm just a little scared about the color. It doesn't look bad anymore, I guess. I guess I just need to blend it out a little bit, let it oxidize. Maybe on camera, once I like start editing, I'll be like, oh my God, girl. It doesn't look that bad. I think once I add all my other stuff, it should come together. Okay, okay, we doing stuff, we doing stuff. You know what, since I already I already kind of started my makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and put the last little things that I'm gonna put on and then we're gonna come back. We're gonna try this. We're gonna, oh no. I dropped it. Okay, she's fine. She's fine. We're gonna try all this other little makeup stuff that I got. I do have one more thing to take out of the box, you know, out of the box. Out of the box. The last thing that I have in here is the Dominique Essentials palette. And this thing got some weight to it. I ain't even gonna hold you. I love the outer packaging. I love mauve pinks. I think that is so freaking pretty. This palette is pretty. I like that. Even if I don't wanna use the palette itself, this one itself is just so pretty and it's very heavy. Ooh, okay. I, I mess with it. I mess with it. Look at that. That is like everyday soft glam, super full glam. You could do so many really pretty looks with that. And we're gonna definitely play with this palette. Y'all already know, I'm not putting on makeup for nothing. Let's go ahead and do some swatches. Okay, let's do some swatches. This one is graceful. That is really pretty. And that was just one swipe. Their formula is that girl. This one is pretty kind. Ooh, very pretty. The next one is K-Linda. And these feel really buttery and soft. Look at that, that is so pretty. Ooh, that gold is gorgeous. The next one is Affirmation, coppery kind of color. Okay, that one you can barely see. Maybe I didn't get enough. Oh yeah, there she is. There she is. That is beautiful. Next one is Confident. Ooh, yes. Yes, I got dirty little fingers, dirty little fingers. I'm gonna go wash my hands and then we're gonna do the bottom row. And we're back. Next one we're going into is Mi Amo. It's just like this really pretty, pretty dusty rose. Let's see. Wow, that is beautiful. The next one is Compassion. Let's see. Very soft, perfect for a transition. Next one is Positivity. Let's see if it makes me look ashy. And it most certainly does make me look ashy. So I probably won't be using that shade unless I'm like using it as like a base and then I put color over it. Next one is True Self. Nothing to really write home about. Last we have Fearless, which is this black. Let me make sure I get like a good amount on there because blacks usually are terrible. So it's a little bit patchy, but I mean, I kind of expect blacks to be very patchy. <laughs> That's just, just, I just, I think that comes with the territory. This is what the palette looks like on my skin tone. I'm gonna go ahead and put on my other makeups. Let's go ahead and get to it. And we're back. I think it actually turned out really nice. I was a bit scared, okay, a little bit scared of that foundation. It didn't look right at first, but now it actually looks pretty nice. How do you use this? Do you just like smack a little bit? Oof, out of one everywhere. I'm gonna go ahead and try to give this a try. Ooh, okay. Oh my God, this is powder everywhere. It smells good. <coughs> hey, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> I'm gonna put the rest of this powder on with this because this is just a lot. I think I put too much powder on. It smells really good though. 
I just gotta see how it looks when everything is melted down with the setting spray. So we're powdered, okay, powder puff girl. I'm actually going to try a few items that I got in my mystery Ipsy bags. The first thing is this bronzer by Estate. We're gonna go ahead and give her a try and see how she looks. Very nice. Let's see if she warms it girl up. Gotta hide the chin. Honestly, I can't tell on the camera how this looks. I honestly cannot tell if this did anything. I don't wanna add more, cause then, well, you know what? I'll add a little bit more. Hopefully it's not too much. <laughs> I think we're bronzed. <laughs> Hopefully we're bronzed. I don't know how I look in the camera. Maybe I look crazy as hell and I just can't see it yet. But maybe it look good, who knows? Next, I'm gonna try this hip dot. This peach might be my color, okay? I've been thinking that maybe the peach blush is my thing. I'm gonna go ahead and give this peachy blush a try. Let's see. Ooh. I think this is my color, y'all. I think this peach is definitely my color. I think this is what I've been missing my whole life. I think that is so pretty. Maybe it looks crazy in the camera, but right now, through my blind eyes, it looks pretty. You know what? No highlighter today. I think I'm gonna go no highlighter today. I'm just gonna really quickly do my eyebrows and then we're gonna get into... What are we gonna get into? We're gonna get into this eyeshadow palette, but let me do my eyebrows really quick. Quick? <laughs> the hell? Quick. Let me do my eyebrows really quick. We have eyebrows now. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go into this palette by Dominique. I'm gonna first go into Compassion and use this as like a little transition. If I look cute today, Justin's gonna have to take me out somewhere. Now I'm gonna go ahead and deepen that up with Mi Emma. Mi Emma. Mi Emma. Mi Emma. Mi Emma. Mayamo? Is that what that is? Mayamo? Mayamo. Deepen that up just a little bit. We're going for soft, soft glam today. And then I'm just gonna go back in with compassion and just kind of blur that out just a little bit more. Blend, blur, blur, blend. I don't know. I'm not like a makeup guru, so I really don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, I am gonna go in with a shimmer. I have to. Which one do I wanna go into? Grateful. Okay, I wanna try Grateful. That is so pretty. Ooh. Yeah, that is pretty. I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this Mi Amo underneath my eye like so. We're gonna go ahead and do a inner corner and I'm gonna use Pretty Kind. I think that is so pretty. That looks really good. <laughs> Watch I get in the camera and start editing and I'm like, bro, you look like a clown. Next, I'm gonna try something a little bit different that I've never actually done before. Because this look is so soft, I don't wanna go in with a very harsh like eyeline. I'm actually gonna do the eyeliner with this black and hopefully it gives me a softer look as opposed to using like my Stila super dark liquid eyeliner. I haven't done this, so hopefully it looks right. We'll see. Did I just ruin my makeup? <laughs> Bruh, I can't even, can't even really see. Ooh, maybe Justin ain't taking me out today. See, this side looks good. Well, it did for a second. Ooh, I gotta make a match. Ooh, oh no. Oh no, oh no. I'm not even gonna lie, that looked jacked up. Maybe we're gonna have to just like, I wonder if that's gonna make it even worse. I don't know, let's see. Let's see what happens if I try to like blend it out. It's not blending. I'm gonna have to practice that technique and see, cause I jacked that up. I'm gonna have to go in with an actual black eyeliner to try to make this look right. Cause right now it just looks ashy. Hopefully still it can save the day. I think that's as good as it's gonna get. It is what it is. Moving on. Before I do anything else, I'm gonna set my makeup with my milk. I actually really like this Hydro Grip. It's nice. Let me get my spray on. So luxurious. Okay, I think we look good. I hope we look good. <laughs> I don't know for a fact once I go and take my pictures after this. Next, I'm gonna go in with the KVD. This feels really nice. This is definitely adding length. 
Oh no. Bruh. No. Oh, it's on both sides. I'll be right back. So I tried to fix that as much as I could. You gotta be very careful when you're using this stuff because it is mad creamy. So you gotta like let it dry and then do your other coats. And then you gotta be very careful closing your eyes because this stuff is, is some serious, Serious mascara. I'm gonna just be like this until it dries because I don't want it to, to get all over my look. I ain't trying to wipe this all off and start over. The next thing is by Cobb Cosmetics. And I got this in one of my mystery Ipsies and I knew I wanted to try it. And I figured this would actually go really well with the Give Beauty lip stick that we got in the Icon box. It's really creamy. I like it. It's got the lips in line, which we love. We love some lined lips. Then I'm gonna go in with my Give Beauty lipstick. Ooh. Excuse my crusties, okay? I've been exfoliating, but it's a war, not a battle. I do wish I got like her red, iconic red lipstick. I really wish I got that one, but this is pretty. Very moisturizing. This is the final look. Do I look good? Does it look pretty? Do I look like a clown? I don't know until I take the pictures and look at the pictures. Y'all, that was everything that was in my icon box. The skincare part, I will definitely do a try on for that as well. But when I'm doing my little doing the most nighttime routines, which I might do tonight because I got all this makeup on my face. I think my icon box was popping. <laughs> I actually think that this foundation is perfect. I was a little bit scared at first because it, it just, it didn't look right. <laughs> I looked this color, okay? I looked like I was matching my Louis Vuitton box. I think that this actually turned out really good from what I can see, which isn't much. I think this is a good icon box, even though I kind of jacked up my eyes a little bit and jack them up just a little bit. But I still think I look going out with Justin cute. <laughs> If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.